Welcome to Kaumudi Global. India on Thursday said it is engaged in talks with China with a focus on a path to resolve outstanding issues in eastern Ladakh that entailed disengagement, de-escalation and having some degree of stability in the border areas for overall improvements in the ties. External Affairs Ministry spokesperson Arindam Bakchi said, India has been looking at this graded process to restore peace and tranquility on the border for progress in the bilateral relations, that is between India and China. His comments came when asked at a media briefing about China's claim of so-called momentum of recovery in the relations and efforts to project that things between the two sides have changed following a meeting between the foreign ministers of the two countries in March. Of course, our point has been that if you can resolve the issues, particularly on disengagement, that would help in de-escalation and restoration of peace and tranquility along the line of actual control in the Western sector. That would be the right step towards enabling progress in bilateral relations, he said. Indian and Chinese troops are engaged in a standoff in a number of friction points in eastern Ladakh for over two years. The two sides carried out the disengagement process in several areas in the region as a result of high-level military talks. The 16th round of military talks on Sunday failed to make any breakthrough in resolving the outstanding issues. External Affairs Minister S. J. Shanga and his Chinese counterpart Wang Yi are set to attend a meeting of foreign ministers of Shanghai Cooperation Organization in Uzbekistan on July 28 and 29. There is a possibility of a bilateral meeting between the two foreign ministers on the sidelines of the SEO meet also. Bakchi said, India is engaged with the Chinese side through diplomatic as well as military talks to resolve the pending issues from its perspective and to ensure disengagement, de-escalation and having some degree of stability and normalcy in the border areas as said earlier. That would help in improving overall relations as well. I think that is the path we will remain focused on, he said. Following the military talks on Sunday, the two sides in a joint statement said they agreed to stay in close contact and maintain dialogue through military and diplomatic channel to work out a mutually acceptable resolution to the remaining issues at the earliest. They had a frank and in-depth exchange of views in this regard, in keeping with the guidance provided by the state leaders to work for the resolution of the remaining issues at the earliest. The government refers to the eastern Ladakh region as western sector. In his comments, Bakshi also referred to the joint statement saying both sides had a frank and in-depth exchange of views in their counterparts. India has been consistently maintaining that peace and tranquility along the LAC were key for the overall development of the bilateral ties. The 16th round of military talks were held 10 days after Jaishanga met Wang in Bali. At the one-hour meeting on the sidelines of a conclave of foreign ministers of the G20 nations, Jaishanga conveyed to Wong the need for early resolution of all the outstanding issues in eastern Ladakh. The eastern Ladakh border standoff erupted on May 5, 2020, following a violent clash in the Pangong Lake areas. Both sides gradually enhanced their deployment by rushing in tens of thousands of soldiers as well as heavy weaponry. As a result of a series of military as well as diplomatic talks, the two sides completed the disengagement process last year on the north and south banks of the Pangong Lake and the Gogra area. Each side currently has around 50,000 to 60,000 troops along the line of actual control in the sensitive sector. I am Shreya signing off. If you like the video, please subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates.